challenging the five senses. Exhibit seeks to capture future impressions by Selena Alvarado. For the Laredo Morning Times, October 19, 2007. It may look intimidating from afar, monstrous even, like another worldly machine made up of everyday trinkets, medical geriatric equipment, and severed a human novelty parts spitting out bubbles, foam, and smoke, while illuminating the darkness with strategically placed light bulbs, police beacons, a disco ball, and disco lights. Surrounding the unique interactive art piece are television screens and video cameras documenting your every move. Yes, this piece, the newest multimedia installation art exhibit on display at Texas A&M International University, is the talk of the town. For Laredo, this exhibit is very different, unique, said Beth C. Granados, a Texas A&M art student. We are used to seeing paintings, very neat work, this is all over the place and makes you see things differently. Very interesting. It's a good piece. Agreed Eduardo Garcia of Sound Alternative Space for Contemporary Art. It's like a modern version of the American sculptor Joseph Cornell and his assemblage art. I'm a big fan of his work. The artist 32-year-old Richie Bud of San Antonio was present at the reception held in his honor Thursday evening for the opening of his exhibit named Bon Voyage Minstro Most de Pilon which will be on display through November 29th in the Center for the Fine and Performing Arts Gallery. A self-proclaimed artist since birth and the son of two educators, Bud says his work takes its cues from neuro-linguistic programming a communication model that borrows from behavioral psychology, hypnotism, and transformational grammar, among other models of effective communicating. <laughs> My most recent piece is our multi-sensory sculpture and installation, he said, based on works that revolve around affecting the future memory of the viewer by creating an intense experience similar to a significant emotional experience. The objects and devices used on his piece may seem random but Bud says each one has a purpose in the grand scheme of things, from the hanging torpedo, to the shaver to the hanging cheetos, to the rotating globe strapped with a makeshift play bomb and President George W. Bush's face. I try to choose things that directly affect the five senses, he said, so that later, when the viewer encounters one of a similar smell, sight, taste, sound, and feeling he or she will remember the piece. Small perfume testers make up one portion of the piece, evoking smell even though you can't really smell them, while Cheetos and chips, and a cheese and salsa dip you can actually eat, stimulates the taste buds. People actually eat from the piece, Bud said proudly. Essentially it is a great party vehicle. A hip-hop mix of original music that blares from the piece and YouTube videos playing in the background stimulates the eyes and ears. A silver tube connects the piece to an interactive geriatric chair that blows smoke from the seat. It doesn't really mean anything, Bud said. I just enjoy doing it. It is open to interpretation. Bud was born in Lansing, Michigan, and has lived in Fort Worth and San Antonio. He received his Master of Fine Arts degree from the University of Texas at San Antonio and his Bachelor of Fine Arts from the University of North Texas. His work has been exhibited in New York City, Houston, San Antonio and Denton, and is scheduled to travel to places like London, Berlin and Paris, he said. Selena Alvarado may be reached at 956-728-2566 or selena at lmtonline.com. Yeah.